Welcome to another installment of The Scene Maker. And the scene I'm showing you in this installment is really a personal favorite of mine. I just finished it today, actually. There's some wonderful elements in this. Um, first off, you'll see two um, Quaker men and uh, two, a Dutch boy and a Dutch girl, and uh, their friend, um, a nice Kali uh, figure. This scene, um, I found the two Quaker men, they're from the 1920s, 1930s, um, made in Japan, marked in black on the bottoms of them, but um, I, I really like them, they, they have a lot of nice detail and such, and uh, then the boy and the girl, see Quakers I believe are Dutch, and the boy and the girl in this scene are Dutch, and um, I found them oh, probably six or seven months ago at the Bethesda Thrift Shop here in Saginaw out on, uh, way out Gratiot, by Gratiot and Center. And I got those for 49 cents a piece, which was a really good buy. They also <clears throat> are made in Japan. Uh, they're marked red, and they're the same era and vintage that the two Quaker gentlemen are. Let me tell you a little bit about finding the Quaker, though, the Quakers. Uh, a few weeks ago now, um, a friend of mine, uh, Chris... Uh, nicknamed Cowboy, called me. I was out walking and he said that he had seen a, a garbage can out by the road and he said that it had what looked like a bunch of vintage salt and pepper shakers in them. And I was not too far from there and he said, well, you, sh you really should go over there, Dennis, and check it out. And so I did. And there were probably about 20, 25 pairs of salt and pepper shakers ranging in age from these Quakers in the 30s to... Uh, a few that were fairly modern. One set was cut glass, beautiful set. And uh, anyways, the, 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 the only problem with getting them out was I didn't have any rubber gloves and it's been really, it had been really hot here and that the, the um, garbage can was crawling inside with maggots, thousands and thousands of maggots. So I, uh, I dumped everything out and uh, carefully picked out the uh, salt shakers and put them in a bag that I had with me because I always carry a bag with me because I'm always finding cool stuff. And uh, I got them all picked out and, and then uh, carefully picked up all the rest of the trash and put it back in the garbage can and um, brought the salt shakers home where I proceeded to uh, disinfect them and wash them and clean them thoroughly. Um, because I knew that at least a couple of them I was going to use in uh, shadow boxes. And uh, that's how I acquired the Quakers, the two Quaker men. Um, they are awesome. I call, um, well, no, I don't call, but the detail on the faces that, uh, on these uh, Made in Japan pieces from that era, the detail on the faces are so cool. You can tell they're hand-painted, um, but they have really nice detail. Uh, they were done really well. So anyways, um, the scene itself, 3D shadow box scene, measures about eight and a half by 11 inches. And um, it has, uh, um, it can be hung up or it can be displayed on a shelf. The box itself is made out of very heavy duty um, corrugated cardboard, which is hand painted by me. And then also, um, the frame uh, fits really nicely with the uh, um, with this vintage antique scene because the frame is actually plastic, but it looks it has a very antique uh, gilded type look. So that uh, you know, it, it the the whole scene has just a general overall really nice look to it, and I enjoyed building it. I always enjoy building these scenes with things that I've actually been able to go out and find rather than purchase, which is the case with the Quakers. But again, the little boy and the little girl Dutch, Dutch uh, figures, um, although I bought them, they were only like 49 cents a piece. I'll tell you a story about those real quickly. I, uh, as I said, I bought them at Bethesda uh, thrift store and um, I, was t I took them up to the counter to pay for them and I set the little girl down and I went to set the little boy down. It was almost like he flew out of my hand. 
and he landed on the floor behind the counter and the lady picked him up and he was broken at the waist and she said that she'd throw him away I didn't have to pay for him and I said no I'll pay for him because I will try to glue them together and uh, and I'll you know use them for what I had intended at the time which was a shadow box scene and so she insisted that I not pay for him because he was broken even though I broke him and um, I took him brought him home and the break was so clean uh, that I was able to glue them together and you have to really really look to see um, that he was ever broken so these this is uh, again it's one of my favorite scenes and I hope that you'll enjoy looking at these images of it well thanks for stopping by and uh, hope you have a great evening God bless everyone <laughs>